The Iranian regime and the Kremlin continue to increase cooperation in the space sector. Tehran sent two of its satellites to Russia for the latter to launch them into orbit using its spacecraft. We are talking about the satellites Kausar and Hodod. The Iranian side claims that the first satellite is intended for use in agriculture and environmental monitoring. The second satellite is designed for satellite communications. This is not the first time that Russia has launched Iranian satellites into space. U.S. authorities have expressed concern about the growing cooperation between Tehran and Moscow in the space sector. It is possible that the satellites being launched could be used for military purposes. It is noteworthy that the current transfer of Iranian satellites to Russia is taking place against the backdrop of the escalating situation in the Middle East. Potentially, these satellites could be used by Iran to track military targets in, in Israel. Moreover, Russia itself could use the satellites in the war against Ukraine. Russia has already sent Iranian satellites into orbit in February 2024 and 2022. At the same time, the United States was concerned about space cooperation between Russia and Iran. Washington feared that the satellites would help Russia in its war against Ukraine and allow Iran to track potential military targets in Israel and the Middle East. Iran is perhaps Russia's largest military partner. Tehran has provided Moscow with Shahed-type kamikaze drones and technologies for their production. Iran has also provided Russia with ballistic missiles. Western media speculated that the Russian regime had given Iran military aircraft in return. Western partners fear that Moscow may share nuclear technology and resources for weapons production with Tehran. According to The Telegraph, Iran believes that Russia owes it for weapons supplies. As previously reported, Iran requested Russia's help in conducting satellite reconnaissance in anticipation of a possible strike by Israel. As is known, Israel promised to respond to the large-scale missile attack on Israeli territory by Iran carried out on October the 1st. SpaceX launched its enormous Starship rocket on Sunday on its boldest test flight yet, catching the returning booster back at the pad with mechanical arms. Towering almost 400 feet, the empty Starship blasted off at sunrise from the southern tip of Texas near the Mexican border. It arced over the Gulf of Mexico like the four starships before it that ended up being destroyed, either soon after liftoff or while ditching into the sea. The last one in June was the most successful yet, completing its flight without exploding. This time, SpaceX founder and CEO Elon Musk upped the challenge and risk. The company brought the first stage booster back to land at the pad from which it had soared seven minutes earlier. The launch tower sported monstrous metal arms, dubbed chopsticks, that caught the descending 232-foot booster. It was up to the flight director to decide, in real time with a manual control, whether to attempt the landing. SpaceX said both the booster and launch tower had to be in good, stable condition. Otherwise, it was going to end up in the Gulf like the previous ones. Everything was judged to be ready for the catch. Once free of the booster, the retro-looking stainless steel spacecraft on top continued around the world, targeting a controlled splashdown in the Indian Ocean. The June flight came up short at the end after pieces came off. SpaceX upgraded the software and reworked the heat shield, improving the thermal tiles. SpaceX has been recovering the first stage boosters of its smaller Falcon 9 rockets for nine years, after delivering satellites and crews to orbit from Florida or California. But they land on floating ocean platforms or on concrete slabs several miles from their launch pads, not on them. Recycling Falcon boosters has sped up the launch rate and saved SpaceX millions. Musk intends to do the same for Starship, the biggest and most powerful rocket ever built with 33 methane fuel engines on the booster alone. NASA has ordered two starships to land astronauts on the moon later this decade. SpaceX intends to use Starship to send people and supplies to the moon and, eventually Mars.
we're, we're losing our stuff our here. Kids, kids, <laughs> <turtle bed. laughs> Guys, I'm, I'm sorry. Like, <laughs> even at this day and age, what we just saw, that looked like magic. That oh, was... wow. Damn, wow. you must have been insane.